Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to increase or change the quality of your loot drops and fishing loot on your Ark server, so stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you wanna host your own Ark server, then I recommend renting one from Nitrado. They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcarterray.com forward slash Nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from the Carter Ray Cartel server and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change your loot quality and your fishing loot quality. So let's get into the video. So what you wanna do is you wanna come over to the Nitrado site. You want to head to settings, of course. Now I, I have opened up two different tabs for you guys to show you how to do this with ex expert settings enabled and without expert settings enabled because if you are using either extra levels or you've you've edited to have more engram points or anything like that that i've shared in the rest of my videos then you will need to go through expert mode but for you guys who aren't doing anything like that and you pretty much got your server moving vanilla then this will show you how to do that on on this particular page so on settings we've taken off expert mode all you want to do is scroll down to multipliers let's slowly scroll down so this isn't too blurry are we going put this there we are we're at multiplier and then we're going to go kind of near the bottom and as you can see here's the fishing loot multiplier this is the quality of the fishing loot that people will be getting so when they fish and whatnot they'll be getting 10 times uh well the quality will be 10 so that's pretty much ascendant stuff and the supply crate loot quality multiplier is right here so once you see fishing loot you'll see the supply crate on the right and that's pretty much near the end of the multiplier section right above baby multipliers so that's how you change the settings for that of course this will start off at level one and you i put it up to level 10 when i first started my server and then i put it down to level five to kind of balance it out a little bit more <clears throat> so that's how you do it over there let's show you how to do it in expert mode settings so what you need to do is you need to go to expert mode which will be like right around here right about now you can't see it because we do have normal settings enabled uh, but that will be you'll see general and then I think you'll see expert settings here and then all you want to do is scroll down as you can see these are my level experience ramp overrides to get us to over level 300 on the server so you want to scroll down you want to scroll down past all this stuff and you want to basically get pretty much near the bottom and it's right above the baby multipliers again but also above my per level stats multipliers because i've done different stats multipliers for different well dinos and, and that sort of stuff to make my dinos a little bit faster and so they have extra weight and have less stamina drain so here we have our supply our supply crate loot quality multiplier and our fishing loot crate multiplier and all you want to do is edit the numbers here to either i don't know you know whatever number you want it to be and let's go over to the item quality tab that i've got over here so you can kind of get an understanding of what kind of quality you're going to get per the numbers so if you want ascendant quality items in pretty much every loot drop then just go to 10 and you'll probably get ascendant items in pretty much every loot drop that's how it was for us on the server for like the first couple months and then if you want mastercraft then go down to seven if you want journeyman go down to five but of course this you still need to keep in mind the color of the loot drops now obviously if you go to 4.5 everything that you find in a loot drop might may not be journeyman if you go and get a green drop or you go get one of those rainbow drops so keep that in mind but you would give yourself a better chance to have better loot and you hopefully won't see any large crop plot blueprints or anything like that so i'd suggest going to about five maybe 4.5 maybe 2.5 something like that if you go to 10 then you get a lot of ascendant stuff everywhere and then blueprints don't hold as much value 
and people really don't have to go cave hunting and go hunting for good loot and that sort of stuff so i'd suggest going around five but that is how you do it i hope this video helped you guys out remember if you're watching this i'm probably live right about now unless it's a monday so you know go check me out on live stream go check me out on twitch.tv forward slash jcart ray all that sort of stuff i think I will be including those links in the description from now because I do want to get more people over to my Twitch channel. But yes, thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I hope this video helps you out and I'll see you guys in the next Ark Survival Evolved tutorial. Peace out. If you want less grinding and more fun from your Ark experience, then come and join the Cart Ray Cartel PvP server today. Use the link in the description to join the server or go to jcartarray.com forward slash Ark apply and follow the instructions. This is a boosted PvP server, so you don't have to grind for days to have an hour of fun like the official rates. All the rates and more information about the rules and the stats on the server is available at jcartarray.com forward slash arc apply and in my discord server. We welcome mature players who don't cry when PvP happens on a PvP server. There will be no salty squeakers allowed. So if that's you, don't even bother registering or trying to come on the server. There are also monthly reward packages for patrons who help support the server. You can see all the available packages on the patron page so please help support the server by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash jcartarray i'll be helping patrons also to grow their youtube channel so if you got a youtube channel and you want to play arc on your channel you want to make some videos you want to grow your channel that sort of stuff then consider becoming a patron as an investment in your future as you can make that back tenfold if you listen to my advice and grow your channel now i will not be giving out wivens and gigas and that sort of stuff to the patrons to ensure that we keep the server balanced i don't want people to have op dinos and be able to pay to win so that's something that i've thought about so again, use the link in the description and follow the three steps to join the server or go to jcartarray.com forward slash arc apply. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Let's survive together with less grind and more fun. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.